In Chapter One, we always encounter questions involving mixed operations of fractions. When performing multiplication and division of fractions, we have to convert mixed fractions into improper fractions first. But do you know when performing subtraction with decomposition, it is also better to do the conversion first? Let's look at example fifteen. We are performing subtraction with decomposition on the right. Since it is not enough to subtract twenty-one from six, we have to change three and six over thirty into two plus thirty-six over thirty. This method is quite clumsy, and you always need to check. Whether you need to decompose the fractions, that's why we suggest using the method on the left to work out the question. Here, we convert all mixed fractions into improper fractions at the beginning. Then we expand the fractions to make their denominators the same, and perform addition and subtraction of fractions. See, it looks easier. So, when doing questions involving fractions, it is good to convert the mixed numbers to improper fractions first every time. Now, let's talk about operations involving brackets. In this example. We have to handle the two pairs of round brackets and a pair of square brackets. Remember, we should perform operations inside the innermost round brackets first. That means we have to work out eight minus five and eleven minus nine first. After that, we can keep the square brackets. Let's work it out. The next step will be thirty-six divided by eight minus five is three, eleven minus nine is two. So the next step is thirty-six divided by open square bracket three times two, close square bracket. Then we move on and get the final answer six. Keeping the square brackets makes the calculation clearer. This might be helpful for you. Next, we are going to learn more on questions involving both decimals and fractions. In short, convert decimals into fractions first. The reason is, we can always convert decimals into fractions. But converting fractions into decimals may not be easy. In this example, we convert the two decimals into fractions first. Zero point two eight becomes twenty eight over one hundred, and zero point seven becomes seven over ten. Dividing by seven over ten becomes multiplying by ten over seven. After simplification, we get the final answer: twenty-nine over ten. In conclusion, after converting the decimals into fractions and applying the techniques in performing operations of fractions, we can always solve questions involving fractions and decimals easily. Finally, let's talk about some common mistakes. We are going to find the LCM of three numbers using short division. There is something different from finding the HCF of three numbers. Let's find the LCM of thirty, thirty-six, and forty-five. First, 
we have to divide these three numbers by their common factor 3. We then have 10, 12, and 15. We can no longer find a common factor for these three numbers. It is a common mistake that we stop the division here. Instead, we have to further divide by the common factor of two of the numbers. The common factor of 10 and 12 is 2. So we continue the division using 2. We have 5 and 6. 15 is not divisible by 2. We just copy 15 here. Next, consider 6 and 15. The common factor of 6 and 15 is 3. We continue the division using 3. Copy 5 here, and we have 2 and 5. Finally, we will consider this 5 and this 5. Their common factor is 5. We continue the division using 5. We have 1, 2, and 1. We finish all divisions here. Get the LCM by multiplying these 7 numbers, like the L shape. The final answer is 180.